Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to use choose function with VLOOKUP. So here is our data. Names, the salary paid each month, January, February and March. I have already made the names by drop down. So here is all the names and month also. So let's start how to use choose function with VLOOKUP. So I'm starting with VLOOKUP. The lookup value will be our names and the table array. The table array, I'll use choose function. Choose function, the index number. I have, we have four index. So let's not write it. One, two, three and four. We have four index, comma, the value one, value one for the first index. So first index will be our name. So we select the name. So all the names selected, comma, the value two. So the, your second value will be January. third value third value will be february and the same fourth value is march let's close the bracket comma so to get the second index means january we'll use two comma you need the exact match so we'll select false and close the bracket Showing a name, so we will select the name. See, Pratik is having 3100 salary, so it's matching perfectly. So, how to do with the changing the January, February, like that to automate the uh, salary? So, with the column index number, we will use match function. So we'll see how to use match function. So it's equal to match. The lookup value will be February and comma. The lookup array will start from first till here. Comma. We need the exact match. See, February is going into the third column. And when we when you change this, January is going to second column. So if we will use this match function, I'll just copy this and change with the column index number. Let's put enter. So it's 3100. Let's change the month to February. So February we are getting 3000. Let's change the number name to Swati. So Swati is 4200. So exactly we are kidding hope you all learned thank you so much thank you for watching the video